Hello and welcome to the Awesome Gamer Cave. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on power systems. Other than, well, I've done my turret thing before. I haven't actually done a stealth ship yet. I've gonna, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to do a video on how to build a stealth ship like that one. That one is actually pretty good overall. And it can dock with my super ship. But I've actually borrowed a few blocks because I didn't want to go into a shop or spawn them in because I don't really actually know the stupid ID to spawn them in or the command. But I borrowed from my station a bit. Well, this is the station I found. But anyways, let's go into here and fly a bit out over here. And build mode. Okay, let's put a platform on this ship. Um, let's make this a 10 by 10 platform. And stick it here. Okay, stick another one here. Stick another one here and here. Okay, right, this should be enough space. Okay, there's quite a few different power core designs going around. Most of them are like 5x5 five five little cube things that you can build. Which basically can start... This is one 5x5 five five cube thing that I don't actually know the power generation of. Let's put 3, 4, 5. Put this up one and then put it in here. Putting that there. Note that I am not actually having any of these go side to side with each other. Except, well, the ones in the center in a way. But I go like this and this and this and this. Oh, wait, I should chop that block off right there. And then put these like little power things here instead. then put more little plus signs. Okay, put this up like this. Whoops, misplaced there. And then that up like that. This is one 5x5 five five design that they're... Oh, wait. I, I need to put more plus signs in. I keep on forgetting these last little plus signs. Because, well, I never actually use this technique since I just don't like it in general. Because, well, who, who really wants to do all this building and then do it about a hundred times? Nope, not there. Go here. And then there's also four that should be in the very center, that just center around this center power storage unit thing, whatever the heck it is. So that's one design that looks like it generates 7,000 or so, whatever the heck, units. I actually don't really know what the hell that means, but one, two, three. Three, four, five. Let's put this down to five, and let's put this down to five. Um, remove mode to see where the heck it's going to be. Uh, okay, boom. There goes power generation. Another type of power generation is basically you can put down a cube. Like, um, not of power cores, yay. If I had enough of them, though, if you see right there already... I used up every single little mile of power cores I had left, and it only generates about 3,000. So, overall, not very efficient to just put them in a huge block like that because of the power generation code things or whatever the heck it is. Another type of style that I've just generally not liked using was a really long line not connected to another really long line. Guess what? Next to another long line.
But as you, but this right here is actually generally the most powerful way to make power is just having these long strips right here. But the way that I actually make power is I generally have a semi um, okayly large plus sign in the very center of my ship in a star the star pattern. And then I have little tiny L's going out from that. And then I put whatever the heck I want to on the in the middle part things. This basically does the same thing as these long lines, but in a, in a, in a kind of different way. But the long lines right there that just stretch the entire full length of your ship, any ship for that matter, is actually the best way to actually generate power, sadly. I don't like doing it that way. I like making all these fun little nifty designs everywhere. But for as power systems go, just making these straight lines over and over and over and over and over and over and over again generates the most amount of power. And you can stack them up just by putting, say, that right there. And then you go over here and build across. Now with that like that, you can also uh, delete a bunch of these blocks, whatever the heck, I don't really care. The core can be sitting over there floating in space for all I care. And if we take down all these blocks right here, we can actually, how much mass does this thing have actually? Oh yeah, I guess I can probably jam a stealthing tutorial along with power systems because they kind of go hand in hand. All that you need basically is for each mass you have, you need about 1500 power. Which is pretty easy to achieve if you just hollow out the center and build long tubes like this. Because right now it's generating 15,000 power when it only needs... Uh, for um, 19, um, uh, no, uh, 8 times uh, 8,000, 10,000 power, I'm just going to say. After that, you just need to pull out your old drag right here, drag right here. You just need to pull out your radar jammer and OC cloaker. You can, what the thing is, you can, cannot have just, the thing is, if you want a stealth ship, you cannot just have the radar cloak jammer or the OC cloaker, because if you just have the OC cloaker, then your radar signature still p appears, and I blow you to bits with my turrets. Although I cannot see you with my actual ship. ship. I can still see your little square, but that doesn't really give me any reference to what the heck I'm shooting. And if you just have the radar jammer, turrets don't work, but I can still blow you to pieces with my big ship. If I can actually turn in time. But with them both together, you turn completely invisible. I can't actually show you that because I don't actually have somebody else to be here. But if I go into flight mode right now, you should have the OC cloaker and the radar jammer in your actual slots right there if you put them down back there. And then you just activate both of them. And your radar signal and your whatever the heck other things you have on here should be not here anymore. Man, I really I actually should turn up my sensitivity. Let's see, let's see, let's spin around. Yeah, if you just just spin this around, it'll eventually turn your ship upside down, other than using control and spinning it. It's kind of funny. But that would be the cloak, cloaking ship. Which is kind of interesting because the core is just floating over here. Oh man, that would be actually kind of cool if you just had a radar jammer and you have your core like a thousand feet that way. 
Oh man, that would actually be a really funny thing. You just have your core way over there, and they're just blowing up the heck out of your ship over here, going, "Where the heck is the freaking core?" <laughs> That'd be funny. But I get that, that. That's how you build a stealth ship. You just have to keep mass higher than, um, lower than the like fifth. You just have to make more power than fifteen hundred times the mass. Which that thing is right over here. Although you decloak if you shoot any like missiles, antimatter cannons, that sort of thing. So, cell ships are pretty nice, but you can't stay cloaked while firing. That sort of thing is kind of obvious because if you stay cloaked while firing, that'd be kind of OP, don't you think? Well, most people probably wouldn't say that, but still, for some reason, this thing lost its radar jammer sometime. Don't know when. So I'll put down another radar jammer for this thing. This thing actually does cloak and radar jam at the same time. Uh, and it has a mass of 198. So this is a pretty big ship for cloaking. But technically, you can make any sized ship for cloaking. It can be a massive 10 story. I could be. The thing is, the current cloaking technology, you sadly have to build a ship for cloaking specifically. Because no matter if I shoved power, the best type of power things in that thing and like stripped away its shields, I would not be able to cloak it. Or most likely wouldn't be able to cloak it. Because the hull and everything is just so massive. In mass. So that's my gonna be my power tutorial and slash cloaking tutorial slash whatever the heck else I did in this video tutorial. And bye.